Albanian army tanks had been heading south. Even if they'd wanted to go further, this route at least was blocked, dynamited by rebellious southerners. But after Wednesday's clashes, the region was relatively calm. There was a demonstration in Saranda, one of about six towns controlled by the rebels. They also control some powerful weaponry, including vessels seized from the Navy. The rebels used their captured vessels overnight to patrol the area of coast they control. A rumoured landing of government forces never happened. There's no shortage of weapons for the rebels. Another two army depots were broken into and looted. But the government is attempting a political solution. The insurgents have been given a 48-hour amnesty to hand back the weapons. Government and opposition members putting aside their differences met at President Sali Barusha's official residence and agreed army operations will be suspended during that time. I think it was it's a starting of the dialogue and uh, it's a, a small step uh, forward. There are plenty of signs of the rebellion in the southern towns and the numbers waiting for visas outside the Greek consulate suggests not everyone wants confrontation. Events in the next 48 hours could dictate whether the small trickle of refugees heading for the Greek border dries up or turns into a torrent.